Add coffee and the meat and the result will surprise you. In a large skillet over medium to low heat, start by adding enough vegetable oil to cover the bottom. Then, add a pork leg weighing approximately 2 kilos and fry on each side for 2 minutes. This is the right point. Once you've done that, make a cut in the middle, opening up a hole in the center of the meat, just like I'm doing here. It should look like this. Now, in a large skillet over medium to low heat, add a drizzle of olive oil, two medium onions cut into cubes, one red pepper also cut into cubes, 150 grams of bacon cut into smaller pieces, and saute everything very well. This is the right point. Then, in a large bowl, add 200 grams of mozzarella cheese cut into cubes, the sautéed ingredients we prepared, 150 grams of cream cheese, and mix everything until combined. Take this time to share this video and write in the comment section the name of the city from which you're watching it, and we'll make sure to leave a heart, especially for you. Oh, and thanks for sharing this video. Then, season with one teaspoon of salt, a pinch of black pepper, and mix once more. After doing that, stuff the meat with the mixture we prepared. Have you got that recipe app? It's already available for download. Go to the App Store or Play Store now, type that recipe and download it, and secure it with toothpicks, just like I'm doing here. Now, in a large skillet over medium to low heat, add 200 grams of tomato sauce, one teaspoon of brown sugar, one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, one teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of sweet paprika, one teaspoon of salt, a pinch of black pepper, 30 grams of instant coffee, and mix everything until combined. This is the right mix. Finally, brush this sauce over the meat we prepared. Take to a preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius, 350 degrees Fahrenheit, and roast for one hour. Keep an eye out, as this time may vary depending on the power of your oven. Meanwhile, in a small saucepan over medium to low heat, add 150 milliliters of red wine, 50 grams of grape jam, one teaspoon of salt, a pinch of black pepper, and mix everything very well until slightly thickened. I hope you're enjoying the recipe. Share it with your friends. By doing so, you'll be helping us go even further. This is the right consistency. After the meat has roasted, remove it from the baking tray and cut it into strips. Finally, serve with the sauce we prepared. That recipe is ready. You may now get a slice and enjoy it.